just got nothing to lose. You will see a lot of eyeliners and not the regular eyeliner, not just uh, 50s eyeliner following your eye and just elongate it a little, but make it a little more graphic. And it's almost geom geometrical eyeliners. So that's what we're gonna do deconstruct the eyeliner. So we're first gonna put an eyeliner and we're gonna go up to the crease and then make it sharper in the edge. So it's a totally different one than we are used to seeing, but it's really about graphical eyeliners. So I'm gonna use a really easy eyeliner. It's the Fluid Line in Black Track. So it's really black black and it has the creamy gel feel so it glides on easily. It's more easy than when you have liquid eyeliner for some people because then they tend to have um, marks on the crease when they open their eyes. So we're gonna start with black track and I'm using a rounded brush, the 209. And I make sure my brush is covered completely with the eyeliner. Then we're gonna start from the center. Can you even close your eyes? From the center, really close to the lash line. And then go to the outer corner. And try to start really thin in the beginning and then it can come wider. Do the same on the other side. If you build it up one side to the other, then you have more chance of having a good symmetry. So you take your time, don't go too fast. It's not the eyeliner you do in two minutes. And then we're gonna open up the eyes, yes. And then we're gonna go up. See how I really draw. So look really in front of yourself. Yeah. Into the mirror. We can even go a little longer. Go. And then we go towards the crease. And we even then we fill in the crease a little. You can first make a sketch, so it doesn't have to be perfect in the beginning. You just make sure where you want it. And you can get a little wider. Okay, close. So we have our sketch. And we're going to fill it in. And while the eyeliner is still a bit dry, or not dry yet, you can take the angle brush and blend in the gel liner so it has a more soft feel to it otherwise it's a bit too harsh and you can even blend towards the crease and it doesn't matter if this is not perfectly right because that we will do with that q-tip And then we just take a thin Q-tip, we dip it in the pro eye makeup remover, and make sure it's not too wet. And then we really just kind of chop it up. That will make the eyeliner really graphic. Gives it a little rock and roll feel. You see it's still a beautiful eyeliner and it's really interesting for a bit of Polish mascara. And with this look it's also nice to have a light base of eye eyeshadow. And here's a patina eyeshadow that she's wearing now. 